multi-billion dollar, million dollar venue, sorry about that friends, unveiled today right on the outskirts of Enterprise. And the facility's owner talking plans of water parks, concerts, and much more. Thank you for joining us for WDHN News at 6 o'clock. Former Bama Jam owner Ronnie Gilly announcing a major revitalization project to take place on the old Bama Jam grounds. Yeah, Donna Williams there today to hear about the big names coming in to perform in Coffee County. She's got the story tonight. I have law firm opinions that everything we were doing was legal, and it was legal. But we're not going to digress and go there. At the end of the day, it took me down. I chose to partake in um, corrupt politics. Ronnie Gilly has had a lot of success, but that all came to a halt in 2011 when he was arrested. And now, three years later, Gilly's back in the headlines. Gilly announcing his plans for his new 1,600-acre Bama Jam property. I paid the ultimate price. I lost my freedom for five years. Through that process, the whole time, my heart's desire was to get this project back. I lost it. 1,600 acres, the dream, the vision, it was all lost. Gilly introduced his new plans for the 1,600-acre development. Gilly talked about building retail shops, a water park, outdoor activities, but the biggest announcement was the Bama Jam Music Festival. Bama Jam will probably be back in 21, 22 at the latest, but let me tell you what we've got right now, in my opinion, is, is much greater than Bama Jam. That first event is expected to kick off in April. In Coffee County, Donna Williams, WDHN. The first large concert, Rockin' Country, they're going to call it, will be held April 17th through April 18th. A two day pass is $70 and a one day ticket, $49. We'll have the lineup coming up on our website, dothafirst.com. All right.